Good uh, morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is you, Gilly, with a rather unusual edition of Getting Gilly. Um, I have downloaded the uh, consumer trial, I guess you could call it, of Windows 8 64 bits. And I've installed it onto a virtual machine um, just to try out in general. Uh, I haven't quite worked out everything as. Well, I basically just started recording as soon as uh, I finished downloading it. Um, I'm also using a program other than the Fraps today. It's called Windows Expressions Encoder 4. And it is absolutely terrible to use, and I rather dislike it, but I haven't quite figured out how to use Fraps for desktop capture, so this is it. Um, as you can see, the Windows 8 dashboard uh, is more akin to the Xbox 360 dashboard than uh, any older Windows operating system. Um, as you can see, you still see the Windows 7 uh, interface on the bottom here. So it's Windows 8 seems to have evolved, inverted commas, from the uh, classic bottom of the screen bar thing. Or hasn't. As I said, this is uh, completely new to me. So there's still a desktop. There's still Windows 8 installed. I'm not quite sure if it can connect to the internet via a virtual machine. But I guess I'm about to... Okay, it can. Um, first things first then. And I may fast forward this. Um, I need Chrome. No. No Bing. And yeah, but it doesn't seem to have popped up on there, so I'm going to have to download it. Well, it shouldn't take more than a second. Despite living in Australia, my internet is reasonable. Yes, yes, install. Go. I can totally read this quickly as well. Ah, oh, look. Excellent. Uh, and we're going. So for now, we install if you need help. Don't see a window. Install. And it appears I'm not quite sure which version of Internet Explorer this is. I assume it comes preloaded with Internet Explorer uh, nine. Um, but I could be wrong, and I'm not entirely certain. It's also one a.m. here, so I'm not quite at liberty to have a look. And I'm also not sure about the recording time of this. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Okay. Um, looks like I'm just going to have to deal with this for now. Now, I have absolutely no idea how to get back to that menu screen. At all. Um, also, I, was there a start menu thing there a second ago? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Alright, well... I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, there we go, touch keyboard. Maybe, no, that's Sass Manager. What the hell? That's new. Desktop. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Um, okay, so the desktop looks uh, quite like a Windows 7 clone, which is perfectly fine with me. I quite like Windows 7. Just open Sass Manager again. It's 1 a.m. I'm tired. I'm going to deal, I have to deal with it, I'm afraid. Along with babbling. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, I'm not particularly keen to give a review of a desktop with nothing on it, and, uh, aside from a rather nice looking fish. This fish also appeared during the installation, which, uh, is interesting as well. Is, it, is Microsoft now going to be using a fish as their logo rather than a window? Because that's not particularly Windowsy, if I say so myself. Um, alright, this is the explore button. I'll just make sure this fits in the VM window because it seems to be not fitting perfectly. Right. Um, so it seems to have changed a little bit. It looks, well, sorry. It looks very much the same, although there's an arrow that takes you directly to desktop. That's rather nice. I save a lot of things to desktop before sorting them, so 
quite useful for me. Um, they've also put these tabs along the top for whatever reason. So, let me change here. Change views, tiles, that kind of thing. List. We have to group things by certain things. Can one touch showing hidden items. Obviously, none there at the moment, so I haven't saved anything here at all. No, I'm going to. Um, this doesn't appear to be as bad as what I've been hearing. I've been hearing a lot of, uh, oh, it's just Vista 2.0. Well, so far it looks okay. Um, in the VM at the moment, I'm running it with uh, two cores at, uh, I think it's roughly 4.2 gigahertz, along with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so it's not running full capacity, so it may be a little slow, I'm not quite sure. Um, not entirely certain of the actual requirements. Uh, I know it requires at least a 1 gigahertz processor, single core, and it was something around 1.5 gig of RAM, I believe, along with them around 20 gig of hard drive space. Uh, but don't hold me to that. Um, let's see if I can find a way back to that rather interesting menu. I of course have no idea how. Ah, hang on. That did something. Yes! Victory! Right, so this isn't the proper desktop as it turns out, although you can open it into Explorer from here. Whoa! Okay then. Oh, that was a fish. I should stop clicking things so quickly, but. Just trying to get to know things as fast as possible. I will have more of a play around with this some other time, but I won't be doing another video on it. Um, you can of course download it for yourself and run it on a virtual machine. I'm using uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox. You can just Google that and download it. It's free. Um, as well as the Windows 8 Consumer Trial Edition thing. Uh, also free to try. Not sure for how long. Um, oh, I now have no idea how to return to the other screen as well. All about the learning here. Ah, there we go. I can probably quit from here. No. Be on the desktop. Ah, excellent. Well, at least I know how to return. Ah. To that. There we go. Start. Yes. So it seems to be a messaging function, which I will assume is akin to MSN. Um, share the weather. Excellent. Let's see the weather. Is that doing anything? I'm going to have to... Oh! Do you want to turn location? Yes. Why not? I can trace my IP. Do it. Preferably faster. Oh, there we go. And, uh... Brighton, Australia, of course. Ah, brilliant. It's in Fahrenheit. Um, anyone watching? Not from Australia. Australians view the temperature in Celsius. I have no idea what I'm reading. Uh, it was around 28 degrees today and raining, so I'm not sure if that's particularly similar. But I'm sure people aren't interested in the weather right now. Okay. Let's see the world. Ah, oh, that's quite an interesting map. It's nice. I don't know what that is doing. It seems to be loading somehow. Let's see how the weather is in Europe. And let's go to London. Or not, as it may seem. Right. Well, this is. I'm not sure if this is the virtual machine or the. Nah, the blah. I'm not entirely certain whether this is the virtual machine being slow, or my connection to the internet via the virtual machine, or just Windows 8 itself being buggy. So, that's a very much bear with me. This is just as new to me as it may be to a lot of you watching. I also have no idea how to uh, return to home. And I'll try and return to However the hell I get out of this thing, because, quite frankly, I have no idea. 
pass places, very useful. Um, I haven't a clue how to leave. I wonder if I can hit uh, control insert. No, hitting control delete right now will just take me to my actual desktop. I'm sure I'll be. Oh my god. Well, that is certainly interesting. Ah. No, that doesn't seem to be doing right. Oh, wait. Ah. Okay. So this is sort of doing what I was expecting it to do. There we go. So it seems if you hover in the bottom right corner for a little while, it'll just show this desktop thing. Hmm. Incredible. Uh, photos, store, maps. So it seems to be quite interesting. It's, it almost seems like it's bringing a uh, all the main functionality you may require from a PC to this kind of starter page. Um, which is nice, I suppose. I don't know, being able to try this out for myself has definitely uh, changed my view on what this operating system would be like. It looks quite nice. Um, as for actual use of it, I know, I might switch my hard drive slightly and give it more of a go for day-to-day uh, -day use. Let's have a look at devices. Start the current center. Well, I'm assuming devices would mean an Xbox or something of the like. Ah, that was probably a bad thing to do. Um, to your share. So it seems like also seems like Windows 8 seems to be uh, leaning more towards a um, kind of media, uh, yeah, a media focus rather than um, business. Because most people do see a big finance thing here, I also see a massive music thing, I see Xbox games, camera, weather, mail. So it, it seems to be more for the kind of general user. It's just like a Windows Explorer there, which would be the general user's usual uh, web browser. No, I do not want that. Why do I click on that? Right. Well, there's also no computer thing on desktop like there usually is, so you have to try it yourself. And what does it give me? Yep, two year RAM. So this this is what it is using right now. This is uh, what I've dedicated to the uh, drive. As you can see, my graphics card isn't showing up under display adapters, um, as well as only oh a single core. Because you know, an i7 is a single core processor. Wink. <laughs> Very amusing. And also, it. Um, I also noticed what, what what's happened to the rounding. It's all very jagged now. I'm not sure I'm particularly keen on that. I like my operating system being feeling more comfortable and homey rather than this kind of jagged edge thing. Oh my word! What have I done? Oh, clovers. Okay. Yes, well. Um, I hope you've somewhat enjoyed this uh piss around <laughs> save with Windows 8. Um as I said before, just if you'd like to give it a go yourself and you don't want to, well and are too afraid you might do something to your own computer, feel free to Simply Google Oracle VM Virtual Box, download that, and Windows 8 Evaluation Copy Consumer Preview. Both, you know, Google's fantastic, they will lead you straight to them. Most likely the first link, but you know, don't be retarded. Again, thank you for watching. This is you, Gilly.